Good evening. Hello, Rene. Welcome to the class. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. Hello. Hello. How are you? I'm doing great. What about you, Rene? How are you doing? Great. Thank you for asking. Uh, you're welcome. I'm glad to hear that. Thank you for your punctuality. Okay. So, well, Rene, I have to start with my class. It's time. Tengo que comenzar con mi clase, so it's time. And today is session 13, right? And that's something cool, because actually by Friday, you will be finishing your principia, I mean, your intermedio uno, right? Intermedio uno, that's something wonderful. Uh, and then, you know, you have already finished all your basic or beginners uh, modules, and now you're moving forward to intermediate, okay? That's something cool. Yo estoy contenta, ¿verdad? Me, me alegro cada vez que alguien pasa de un modo a otro, okay? So, this is going to be session 13 out of 16, right? So, we're going to be finishing on Friday. Hey, hi, Kenny Akandrai. Welcome to the class. Hi, Mariana. Welcome. Hi, teacher. Hello. Welcome, girls. Let's see the chat. Hi, this is Kenya. Hello, Kenya. Very good. So, today, guys, we're going to move to section number five, right? That's going to be section number five in the platform. Uh, as I was sharing with you in the morning, remember that for this particular, um, for this particular uh, week, we need to work in section five, and also we need to work in the final exam or the final test, okay? But something that I have, I have observed, something that I have observed with you guys is that you are very independent. Son bien independientes y eso está genial. Porque la mayoría de ustedes este, veo que rapidito, eh, if you have doubts, you ask the, the questions, but generally you don't have questions about the platform. Espero que sea porque quedan claros los temas, ¿verdad? But I can see that you're very independent. Son bien independientes y, y eso es admirable. Yo sé que pasan ocupaditos, pero se, se toma su tiempo, ¿verdad? Para, para poder hacer su, su, trabajar en su plataforma. So remember that, as I was saying, for this particular uh, for this particular um, week, right? We're going to be working with uh, well one of the topics that I brought today, which is will and going to, right? Will and going to uh, probably the most important topics during this module were simple past and also present perfect. Right, and also last but not least, uh, we worked with um, with adjectives, right? Uh, adjectives of equality and adjectives of inequality, right? Adjectives to describe um, nouns, adjectives, you know, to describe other adjectives, etc. La verdad es que estuvieron bastante interesantes los temas, right? So I, I really hope that um, you had a good time, right, with this um, with the topics, with the grammar topics that we were discussing. Okay, guys, um, so let me introduce uh, section number five. Today is uh, November 3rd. Eh, remember, como les habían comentado, ¿verdad? En el chat, eh, hasta el momento, pues, no ha habido ningún cambio con respecto a, a pues, las clases, ¿verdad? Vamos a continuar esta semana como estaba programada. Solo hay que estar pendientes del canal oficial. En este caso, pues, eh, el grupo, ¿verdad? Que se tiene, donde nos van a dar la información apropiada. De verdad, espero que... Primero Dios, pues todos estemos bien y podamos finalizar este módulo el viernes, ¿verdad? Eh, which is something good for you. Es algo bueno para ustedes. ¿Por qué, teacher? Porque si, es, imagínense, si esto se cancela, entonces eso lo retrasaría a ustedes. Eh, se tardarían en terminar este módulo y probablemente el otro lo iniciarían hasta el próximo año. Y eso, pues, eh, quiera o no, pues ya es tiempo con el que uno se programa, ¿verdad? Uno dice, ah... Voy a terminar tal módulo para tal fecha en el año y luego ya el otro año voy con este y este módulo, right? Entonces, it's something good. So it's something good. So let's take advantage of the fact that we're going to continue with the classes, okay? So the first topic that we have, uh, we have very few topics, by the way. We have very few topics in the platform, but uh, one of the topics that we have is be going to and will. Be going to and will. I mean, those two topics, guys, are very interesting. Eh, yo lo quiero decir así, no es que haya respuestas incorrectas, todo depende del contexto en el que usted utilice will 
y en el que usted utilice going to. Ok. Probably something that sounds good, that sounds, you know, uh, logical to me with going to, it might sound logical to you with will, right? So it's a matter of perspective, right? It's a matter of the way um, you interpret information, right? So let's go ahead and take a look. It says future with going to and will. So this is information that I got from the website, from me, from the platform, right? It says use be going to plus bur for plans you decided on, okay? So here, guys, the key word, the key word is plans, okay? Plans. Now, today, I'm going to cover the grammar topic, right? Voy a cubrir, cubrir el tema de gramática en sí. So tomorrow you can practice, para que ustedes practiquen mañana. I will bring some uh, questions, some, uh, well, uh, an activity, an activity, right? So you can put this into practice. But first, let's go ahead and check, um, you know, the uses that we have, okay? So we said that if we're going to, if we're going to talk about, um, if we're going to use, I'm sorry, be going to plus verb, mean it means that we're going to uh, talk about plans. Listen, plans. And if we're going to use will plus verb, it's because we're going to talk about possible plans before you made a decision, okay? So if I'm using going to, it's because I have already decided, right? I have already decided what to do. So that's the reason why I'm using going to. But when I haven't decided yet, right? If I haven't decided yet, um, that means that I cannot use going to because actually I'm not pretty sure. I'm talking about possible plans, possible plans, meaning that I am not pretty sure. I'm not certain, right, about those things. Very good. Examples. What are you doing? I mean, what are you going to do? Oh, I'm going to relax at the beach. We're going to go surfing every day and I'm not going to do anything special. And how do you know that? Oh, because I have already planned my vacations. Oh, and what are you going to do? Oh, I'm going to stay in a hotel, in a small hotel, you know, not an expensive one, you know, que no cuesta mucho, right? And I have already made my reservation. And these are the things that I'm going to do there. Okay. Pero que tal en la segunda parte? Look, it says, what are you going to do? No, I'm not sure. I guess I'll just stay home. Maybe I'll watch a few DVDs, right? Uh, I don't know. I think I'll go camping. I probably won't go anywhere, right? So, cualquier parecido es pura coincidencia, right? Um, that's, that, that will be for someone who probably doesn't have the, the amount of money that he or she needs to plan a vacation, right? So like, for example, in my case, I mean, I cannot go and stay in a hotel or I cannot go and travel to another country just for going, you know, on vacation, right? But I can go ahead and probably do something like that, right? So, conclusion, conclusion, at, at least from what we're seeing right now, Conclusion is that I'm going to use going to when I have already made my decision. I already have a plan. I already know what to do. And I'm sure about what I'm doing, okay? And I'm going to use will plus ver when or before I have made my decisions. When, when I am not sure about what I'm going to do, when I when when I uh, when I'm not cert certain right about um, the things that I want to do for vacation in this case in this example right so having said that okay having said that I'm going to move to the structure and then I will show you some other uses. Teacher, hay más usos para going to y para will. Yes, there are. They are. There are. I'm sorry. There are other uses right for going to and for will, and you will see them. Okay, so let's move on. So the structure, right, as you can see here, um, we got 
the subject, if it is, you know, with going to, the verb be, right? Without the verb be, it won't be possible for us to make up our sentences, right? So we got subject, verb to be, we, we have going to, right? We got the main verb, right? Which is a stay, and we got our complement, right? So it says, I am going to stay home for the weekend. I am going to stay home for the weekend. ¿Y por qué usa going to teacher ahí? Ah, because I have already made my decision, right? I have decided that I'm going to stay at home or I'm going to stay home on the weekend. No va a haber fuerza, nada que me mueva de esta casa este fin de semana. Why, teacher? Because I'm going to rest, right? Because I have worked very hard from Monday through Saturday and Saturday afternoon, I'm going to be free at last, right? And I'm going to stay home for the weekend, okay? So I have made my decision and that's the reason why I'm using going to, okay? Now let's take a look at the second. Diga, me, Rene. Go ahead. Rene. Good evening, thank you, thank you. Um, is, is equal going to with gonna similar similar yes mm -hmm. yes of course now gonna it's like a slang right it's como eh, es la jerga digamos así común verdad let me go ahead and get one oops creo que lo hice ahí está it's going to right going to es lo mismo que oops perdón Ahí estaba. Es lo mismo que gonna. Es lo mismo. Sí, René. Por supuesto. Gonna es más para speaking, right? Ah, oh, what are you gonna do? Ah, oh, I'm gonna stay home. Ok. Y eso pues lo vamos a utilizar en las conversaciones, ¿verdad? Pero si usted ya está escribiendo más formal, por decirlo así, ahí sería going to, right? Bueno, en mi caso, honestly, Honestamente, yo casi no, casi rara vez ocupo gonna, pero hay mucha gente que sí lo usa bastante, pero no tiene nada que ver, o sea, no, no, no puedo decirle que uno es más común que el otro, no. La diferencia es que este es formal, going to, y este es informal, gonna, pero los dos se utilizan de la misma forma, ¿verdad? En mi caso, yo soy más de usar going to, right, en vez de gonna, pero es lo mismo, René, uh -huh. it's the same thing. Thank you. You're very welcome. Y si usted se fija como si voy a sustituir go, going to, aquí solo aquí quedaría gonna. Gonna sustituiría a going to, ¿verdad? Ya no voy a decir I am going to stay home for the weekend, sino que voy a decir I am gonna stay. I am gonna stay home for the weekend. Ok, very good. Good job. Gracias por sus preguntas. Very good. Let's continue. Now, um, I can use a phrase like that one, possibility, right? I can use one, one phrase that expresses that possibility, right? I guess, supongo, maybe, tal vez, I think, creo, I probably, probablemente, right? So, I guess I will watch the football game. Look. I can use one of the expressions to, or one of the phrases to express possibility plus my subject, plus will, plus verb, plus complement. Now, chicos, lo, lo genial de ambas estructuras es que yo no necesito modificar mis verbos. ¿Por qué? Porque el going to o gonna, ¿verdad? Ya viene acá de tal forma que el verbo que yo voy a usar right after, inmediatamente después, Es un verbo en forma base. No necesito estarlo modificando. Igual con will. Como will es el auxiliar, el verbo que viene right after o después de will, después de, la, después de ese auxiliar, va a ser en base form. Teacher, ¿y cuáles son los base forms? Son esos, esos verbos que no han sido conjugados. Es como el nombre del verbo, ¿verdad? Entonces, I can say, maybe I will watch the football game. I think I will watch the football game, or I probably will watch, 
or I will, I probably will, perdón. Si usted se fija aquí el subject, puede ir I guess, uh, I guess I will watch. Aquí también I, I probably will. Solamente para esta última, I probably, ya no vuelvo a mencionar el subject. I probably will watch the football game. Pero ya lo vamos a ver más adelante, ¿ok? Entonces, I can say, teacher, I guess, I guess I will, I will play soccer on the weekend. Or teacher, maybe I will finish the platform tomorrow. I will finish, you know, the exercises from the platform tomorrow. Teacher, I think I will go to bed early today. Okay. Pero ¿por qué estoy usando will? Because I haven't made my decision. Por ejemplo, si usted me dice, teacher, I think I will probably, oh no, teacher, I think I will go, I will go to bed early. Si usted solo me dice, I think I will, I will go to bed early, quiere decir que todavía no se ha decidido. Probablemente tiene tarea. Probablemente quiere terminar la plataforma. Mensajes subliminales, vea así, indirectamente, ¿ok? Uh, o quizás usted quiere repasar, ¿verdad? Un poquito de lo que hemos visto la semana pasada, qué sé yo. O simplemente ver una serie en Netflix. And you're not pretty sure. Entonces usted me dice, teacher, I think I will go to bed early. Pero no lo he decidido aún, ¿verdad? Entonces, that's how you use it. Very good. Uh, now, I'm going to move. Oops, perdón. Ahora sí. Acá. Ya vamos a regresar a esto, pero antes, I would like to move to, to the structure. Very good. Now, this is class, I said, class number uh, 13, section 5. ¿Verdad? Section 5. Eh, igual, chicos, siempre mencionarle, yo sé que ustedes son bien independientes, son unos chicos que trabajan Maravilloso, ustedes solitos en la plataforma, pero igual siempre si, si tienen preguntas, let me know, ¿verdad? Háganmela saber para que pues yo con mucho gusto les puedo responder y si no tengo la respuesta, pues me rebusco y yo les consigo la respuesta, ¿ok? Así que, y una pregunta, chicos, ustedes me escuchan bien, no me escuchan cortada la, la, la voz, porque no. yo veo... No, bye, ok. No, muy bien. Uh -huh. Ok, excelente, porque de repente yo veo como que el video se queda así estancado, pero entonces quiere decir que es por acá. Dice, teacher, in English we don't say verb in infinitive, but only verb. Bueno, es que el infinitivo es distinto, Luis. El infinitivo lleva la particle to, lleva una partícula que es tú. Si usted se fija en el going to, ahí ya viene el to, pero así es la estructura, going to. Por eso yo no le llamo infinity. ¿Verdad? Porque en realidad lo que yo pongo después es un verbo en forma base. De hecho, mire, nosotros, nosotros generalmente le llamamos base form, así. Nosotros generalmente le llamamos, oops, what happens with my keyboard, base form. Pero en realidad también se les conoce como bare infinitives. Bare infinitive. Y están los infinitives. Uh -huh. Infinitive. Now, el base, el base form, Luis, el base form es lo mismo como el ver infinitive, ¿verdad? Y teacher, ¿qué significa ver? Sin nada. Eso significa, por ejemplo, cuando yo quiero decir descalzo, yo digo, I am barefoot. Teacher, estoy descalzo. I am barefoot. Barefoot, right? Barefoot. Ok. Entonces, es lo mismo, ¿verdad? Con, con ver infinitive. Un verb infinitive es un, es, un, es un verb así como un verbo sin nada, chulón, ¿verdad? Un verbo eh, que no ha sido conjugado. Eso es un verb infinitive, ¿verdad? Y lo vamos a buscar acá. Verb infinitive, base form, and infinity. Ok, entonces, y luego tengo el infinitive. Now, el infinitive sí. Lleva una particle. Tiene esa partícula extra, ¿verdad? La partícula extra en este caso va a ser el to, ¿verdad? Eh, prácticamente lo diría así, Luis. El, el very infinitive es lo mismo que el infinitive, pero sin la partícula to. <ríe> ok, así. And then also, por aquí dice, the base form of a verb is incidentally the same as the infinitive, the form of the verb used to describe action of a non-finite non 
duration without two. Ok. Y si quiere, lo vamos a pasar a este website un solo para que usted lea un poquitín. Es lo mismo, pero el, la única diferencia entre los tres es, es que el, el, um, el infinitivo es el que sí lleva la particle to, lleva la partícula to. Ok, ahorita le comparto aquí, solo que cargue. <ríe> You're welcome. Thank you, Luis. Thank you. Entonces, solo aquí le voy a pasar este, este, este link. ¿Verdad? Oops. No, no va a pasar. Ahí está. Bueno, solo voy a esperar que cargue Luis y luego se lo paso, se lo prometo, pero ahora no, what's going on? A ver. Still loading. Ya se lo voy a pasar, no se preocupe. Ok, so it says Will. We're going to talk a little bit about Will. And teacher y Will solo lo usamos para, para future. Mm, no necessarily. No necessarily. Ok. You're welcome, Luis. So it says you can use I'll or I will, right? When you offer or decide to do something, right? Teacher, pero nos acaba de decir que en el otro, este, pues estamos usando going to porque yo ya decidí que es lo que voy a hacer. Sí, but this one is different, okay? Porque a esto yo le llamo, a esto yo le llamo, miren el chat, I call them instance decisions, okay? Oops, se me fue una roba ahí de más, ¿ok? A esto le llamo instant decisions. Son decisiones instantáneas, ¿ok? Como por ejemplo, teacher, ¿cómo así? Ah, for example, when you go to, when you go to a restaurant, ¿ok? And let's say that you went to a pizza restaurant, right? And then the waiter or the waitress come and the person you know, asks you, right? Hey, um, what ingredients would you like in your pizza, on your pizza, right? Or what type of pizza would you like? And you start thinking, now in my case, guys, my favorite pizza is margarita, margarita pizza, I love it, right? So in my case, uh, I'm given, for example, at the restaurant, right? I'm given three options, you know, wow, we have margarita pizza, we have pepperoni, and we have also ham, you know, ham and cheese pizza, right? Um, and then I think, and I say, you know what? I'll have margarita pizza, okay? Y si ustedes escucharon, yo dije, I'll have, or I will have, I will have margarita pizza, or a margarita pizza. Porque uso I will, teacher, porque eso se llaman instant decisions, right? It's something that at the moment I decide to do it, right? No, ya sabe qué? Comeré la pizza margarita. That's it, right? Entonces, that's something similar to what we have here. Okay, take a look on the screen. It says you can use I'll or I will when you offer or decide something. For example, ese es un ejemplo que les acabo de dar about the restaurant, right? Or I can say, um, let's say I'm with my mom. That I went with my mom. Or I, no, I am with my mom, you know, in the, in the supermarket, right? And then my mom says, my bag is very heavy. My bag is very heavy. And then I, I tell her, I tell her, do not worry. You know what, mom? Don't worry. I'll carry it for you. I'll carry it for you. La llevaré por ti. And what's that? It's just something that I decided to do. Or that I offer, right? That I, I'll, something that I, I'm offering, right? In este caso. And what are you offering, teacher? I'm offering my help, right? So I can go ahead and use it like that. Pero con el famoso I'll. I'll have pizza or I'll have coffee, right? For example, when you go to, the, to, a, um, to a cafeteria, right? They ask you, uh, what are you going to drink? Oh, what do you have? Oh, we have soda, we have coffee, uh, we have nat natural, natural juice, right? Uh, we have, um, what, uh, tea, iced tea. Oh, you know what, I'll have, I'll have um, a Coke, right? I'll have a Coke. Or you know what, I'll have a, uh, a milkshake. Okay, no problem, 
okay? So instant decisions, right? And then oh, you offer your help, right? Hey, you know what? I'm having problems with this topic, you know? I didn't understand. And then the teacher comes and says, you know what, don't worry, I'll help you. I'll help you. I'm offering my help, okay? Or you know what? I don't have time right now and I have to finish this report. Oh, don't worry, I'll finish it for you. Que galán que si no dijera, verdad? No voy a terminar por ti el reporte, right? I'll finish it for you, okay? So that's um, related to this. Also, um, we often say, I think I'll, or I don't think I'll. Creo que voy a, o no creo que vaya a. Okay? When we decide to do something, ¿verdad? I'm tired, I think I'll go to bed early tonight. Pero solo con decir I think, solo con decir I think, también estoy expresando esa possibility. And that's the reason why we do it like that, right? A possibility. So I think, I'm tired, I think, I'll go to bed early tonight, okay? So I think, cuando me dicen I think, mm -hmm, that means that the person haven't made their mind, right? Okay, so let's move on. Let's go ahead and complete the sentences, right? So it says complete the sentences, use I'll or I will plus these verbs. Now, number one, it's already done. My back is very heavy. Don't worry, I'll carry it for you, okay? Now, guys, I will give you some time. I will give you four minutes, okay, for you to complete this exercise, and then we're going to move on, okay? Eh, puede copiarlo, verdad? O tomar el screenshot y luego solo copia las respuestas en un papelito en su cuaderno, okay? So I'll give you four minutes. Go ahead. If you have questions, let me know. Let me know when you finish, okay? So we can check the answers. I have a question. And are, you, are you understand the phone? Phone is a verb 
or a noun or no fun is know. a verb fun is a Ver verb For, oh, okay. mm -hmm. okay. telefonear llamar ah oh, ok 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 mm -hmm. thank you you're welcome Teacher, these Dígame. examples are instant decisions, right? Yes, all of them. Todos, todos. Por eso dice solo use I'll. Lo que tiene que hacer nada más es escoger el verbo con el que lo va a combinar. I finished, teacher. Very good. Thank you very much, Mariana. What about the rest? I think you have already finished. Estaba esperando que cargaran los links, pero solo uno cargo. Ok, otro. Ahí está. También largo los links. Ok. Bueno. So, let's see. Uh, number one is already done. It says, my bag is very heavy, right? I'll carry it for you. Enjoy your holiday. Now, how would you complete that sentence, Mariana? Thank you. I'll send you a postcard. Very good. I'll send you a postcard. Excellent. Now, please select another person, Mariana. Pick one of your classmates. Um, Oops, I don't know what happened. Goodness. Sorry? Luis. Luis, okay. Luis. Luis. It says, I don't, want it. I don't want this banana. How would you complete that sentence? I'm hungry, I will eat it. Very good. You can say, I will eat it or I'll eat it. No, don't have I'll eat it. Mm -hmm. I don't want this banana. Well, I'm hungry, I'll eat it or I will eat it. Thank you. Luis, can you, can you pick another of your, another classmate? Uh, Kenya Acevedo. Kenya Acevedo, very good, Kenya. It says, do you want a chair? Do you want a chair? No, it is okay. I'll sit on the floor. Very good, I'll sit on the floor. Very good, excellent. Kenya, can you please select another classmate? Uh, okay, Blanca de Sandoval. Blanca, okay, very good, Blanca. Did you find Jenny? Did you find Jenny? Are you there, Blanquita? Hello? Blanca? Oh, Blanca. Well, it seems she's not here. Parece que no está. Uh, okay, so don't worry. Monica, are you there? Hello, Monica. Can you help me with that one? Did you find Jenny? Mm -hmm. How would you complete that sentence? Monica, are you there? Hello? Hear me? No. Now I can hear you, yes? I'm sorry. <laughs> Don't worry, okay. it's okay. Um, oh no, I forgot. I'll call it now. Okay, I'll... Pero no está call acá. Yes, sir, I'll do it now. I'm sorry. Ah, okay, don't worry. I'll do it now. Very good. Thank you, Monica. Good job. Then uh, please select one of your classmates, Monica. Okay. Um, Omar Barrera. Omar, very good. Hi, Omar. Are you here? Omar. Are you here in the class? Hello. Well, it seems he's not here, but no problem. So volunteer for the next one. Are you coming with me? 
Are you coming with me, volunteer? Me, teacher? Go ahead, go ahead. No, I don't think so. I'll sit here. Okay. Uh, sorry, teacher. Don't worry, I'll don't worry. I'll stay here. <laughs> Very good, I'll stay, right? No, I don't think so. I'll stay here, okay? Uh, how do you use this camera? Okay, how do you use this camera, Rene? How do you use this camera? Give it to me and I'll and I'll I'll show you. Very good, and I'll show you, right? So give it to me and I'll show you. Very wow. good. Now excellent. Now then we have the second phrase. ¿Verdad? Tenemos la otra forma de decir I think I'll or I don't think I'll. Creo que voy a o creo que no voy a, o no creo que vaya a, ok? So let's do it together, hagámoslo juntos, ok? So it's cold today. Entonces, if it's cold today, I don't think I'll go out. No creo que vaya a salir. I don't think I'll go out, ok? And the second one, I am hungry. I am hungry. You can activate your microphones and you can participate if you want. I'm hungry. So how would you complete the sentence? It says, I am hungry or I'm hungry. I blah, 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 something to eat. So how would you complete the sentence? Um, yeah. I found, uh, sorry, sorry, sorry. Don't worry, it's okay, right? So you can say, I think I'll have something to eat, right? I think I'll have something to it. If you want, go to the chat. Váyanse al chat, ¿ok? Y ahí vamos a responder. I feel very tired. I feel very tired. So what do you think? It's the phrase that best completes the sentence. Go to the chat and tell me what would you answer here. I feel very tired. So how would you answer that, guys? Go to the chat, please, and complete the sentence. Uh -huh, chicos, go to the chat. Ah, okay. I don't think I'll play tennis, says Kenny. You can try it, okay? Very good. Very good. I don't think I'll play tennis. Excellent. And what about number four? I liked this hat. Let's say that you're trying on a hat and you say, I like this hat, right? So, how would you complete the sentence? Go to the chat and complete the sentence. I like this hat. Si me gusta, ¿qué creen ustedes que va a suceder? I, I think I buy it. Very good. I think I'll buy it. Very good. I think I'll buy it. Yes, Mariana and yes, Kenya. What about number five? This camera is too expensive. This camera is too expensive. So what do you think the person will say? What do you think that the person would say? Okay, very good, Mariana. I don't think I'll buy it, right? I don't think I'll buy it. Most likely, mm -mm. No me, no me la voy a llevar, teacher, right? So it's too expensive. Very good. Do you have any questions so far? Questions so far? Questions so far? No? Okay, very good. Let's move on, right? Let's move on to the next topic. Well, I mean, the next section. Very good. Bye. Ahora vamos a pasar a will con future for, ¿verdad? Now it says we use will for the future, right? And we use also time expressions, right? When we're talking about the future. Examples. Um, Sue travels a lot. Today, she's in Los Angeles. Tomorrow, she'll be in Mexico City. Pobrecita, ¿verdad? So she travels a lot, okay? Cualquiera diría, ay, que bien anda por todo el mundo, but actually that's very tiring, right? You can call me tonight. I'll be home. Or we'll probably go out tonight. I won't be here tomorrow. 
don't drink coffee before you go to bed, you won't sleep. Now, guys, let's go ahead and identify, let's go ahead and identify some of the, um, some of the structures that we are studying right now. So if you see Sue travels a lot, today she's in Los Angeles, tomorrow she'll be, okay? Let me check here. Sorry, let me check here. I'm going to highlight this. Okay, she'll be, right? She'll be in Mexico. Okay, so if you see, I'm using um, the future, right, to talk about possibility. What about this one, Luke? You can call me tonight. I'll be home. We'll probably go out tonight, or we will, right, probably go out. Okay, I won't be here tomorrow, right? Or don't drink coffee before you go to bed. You won't sleep. Oops, perdón, I said my phone. Spelling mistake, Mister. You won't sleep, right? Okay, so won't sleep. So if you see, I have the affirmative and negative form, right? To use with uh, with will, right? Now, it, here, guys, um, all what you have to remember is that the verb next to the auxiliary cannot be modified, right? No lo modificamos en absoluto. We don't need to do that, right? We don't need to do it. Very good. Now, um, decíamos al principio too that we often use will, vamos a usar will, right? When we have not decided yet. Cuando no es una decisión definitiva la que hemos tomado, okay? And we have plenty of examples. Como les decía, chicos, hay un punto bien importante. Todo depende del contexto. Todo depende de lo que queramos decir. Todo depende de si hemos hecho una decisión o no. Porque, por ejemplo, yo puedo decir, um, wait, I'll study a second major. You know what? I'll study a second major. I'm going to type it in the chat. Oh, wait, it's not here. Let me see. Um, okay. So I can say I'll, I'll study a second major. Voy a estudiar otra carrera, verdad? A second major. Hmm. Pero la teacher dice I will study. ¿Qué significa que la teacher no ha tomado la decisión? Que esa nada más es una possibility. Es solo una posibilidad. Possibility, ¿verdad? Si yo digo, I'll travel, I'll travel to Argentina. Ok, eh, quiere decir que está entre las cosas que quiero hacer, que esa es mi intención, pero que I haven't decided yet. Ahora bien, si yo digo, you know what guys, I already, I already registered for the, uh, for the course, right? I already registered at the university for the course and I'm going to study a second major, okay? Ahí es totalmente diferente porque yo estoy diciendo, I already, or I have already, already registered. Me acabo de registrar, ¿verdad? I already got, I already registered for, I mean, in the university, in the university, and I am going to study, oops, study a second major, okay? I have already registered in the university and I'm going to study a second major. Teacher, ¿y por qué dice usted, usted está usando I'm going to? Ah, porque ya tomé la decisión, ya fui y me inscribí, ¿verdad? And I'm going to study a second major. Lo voy a hacer porque ya está planificado, ya está pagado, ya tengo todo listo, right? Entonces, por eso les digo, todo depende de su contexto, de, de cómo usted está viendo las cosas, de cuál es la perspectiva. A veces no hay respuesta correcta ni respuesta incorrecta, sino que es la forma en la que usted interpreta o exprese, ¿verdad? O la perspectiva en la que exprese sus, sus ideas o sus planes, ¿ok? It says... Also, will, we, we, we use often, we, 
ah, blah, blah, blah. Ya se me lengua trama, right? We use often, or we often say, creo que quería decir aquí, we often say, I think will, I think Diana will pass her English test, right? I think, creo que, ok, eso es bien común. Y lo usamos con will, ok. I think Diana will pass her English test, right? Do you think the test will be difficult? Ok, en este caso si es negativa. I don't think it will rain, right? I don't think it will rain. ¿Por qué? Ah, because it's sunny. For example, today. Today, the forecast was, you know, um, to expect rain, to expect a cloudy, you know, sky, but it was the opposite. There was no rain and it wasn't that cloudy, right? So the, the forecast, right, was not accurate. Neither the weather, right? Ni el clima, la verdad, okay? Así que, that's about will. A ver, preguntas con Will, chicos. Preguntas con Will. No? Ok. Very good. Now, let's go ahead and see something here. Because actually I have some questions. Yes. Ah, pero son con going to. Ok, very good. Ok. So now let's talk a little bit about going to. Acuérdense, hoy la clase general es para ver las dos estructuras. Then tomorrow and the, the, the rest of the classes van a ser para que ustedes pongan en práctica, ¿ok? Por eso es que hoy he hablado yo bastante, pero that's because I wanted to explain the topics, right? So then we have going to or be going to, right? Plus the verb, ¿ok? If you see, it says I am going to do something. What does that mean? ¿Qué significa cuando yo digo I am going to do something? That I have decided to do it. Again, I have decided to do it. En cambio, cuando yo uso will, I haven't decided yet. No he decidido nada, todo es una posibilidad, right? So it is my intention to do it, right? Esa es mi intención. That's my plan. That's what I want to do, right? And hopefully I will do it. Examples, um, teacher, I'm going to buy some books tomorrow. I want to learn English, I want to practice, and I'm going to buy some books tomorrow. Mm -hmm. Si me dice I'm going to, ya le voy creyendo, porque entonces quiere decir que ya lo planeó, right? Ya está el plan. Sandra is going to sell her car. ¿Qué quiere decir eso? Probably Sandra talked to, um, she talked to her husband, and they decided, you know what, Sandra? We need to sell the car, we need the money, right? So Sandra is going to sell her car. Oh, okay, so she already made her decision, right? Are you going to invite Martin to your party? Are you going to invite Mar Martin to your party? ¿Qué quiere decir la pregunta? ¿Ya decidiste si lo vas a invitar? ¿Verdad? Are you going to invite Martin to your party? Yes, I am going to, or no, I'm not going to, right? So it depends. Or uh, yes, I am, or no, I'm not, right? So what is the structure? Well, como lo vimos al principio, you need your subject, the verb be, right? You need to be very careful because actually you need to conjugate the verb. Hay que conjugar el verb be, right? Uh, then not, si es negativo, si lo agregamos la partícula not, going to plus verb, okay? Examples. Teacher, I'm going to study for the exam. I'm going to study for the exam. What does that mean? That the person has already made the decision, right? Teacher, mm, we aren't going to watch that movie because actually I don't like it. So we aren't going to watch that movie. So if you see, look. Déjeme ver. Déjeme tomar esto. Infrared pointer. Okay, look. Aquí está, I am, verb to be. We aren't, verb to be. All what you have to do is to pay attention to the verb to be and the way you conjugate it, right? Very good. Teacher, ¿para qué más utilizo be going to? Ah, I use it when something is going to happen. ¿Cómo así, teacher? We can see now that it is sure to happen. Mm, quiere decir que probablemente yo estoy viendo la evidencia 
de lo que podría suceder o de lo que pueda suceder, entonces ahí puedo usar going to. Como así, teacher. Example. Look at the sky. It's going to rain. ¿Y qué hacen? Bueno, estamos viendo el cielo. And you see, look, dark clouds. You see dark clouds, meaning that most likely it is going to rain. Okay? So dark clouds, meaning it is going to rain. Mm -hmm. Probably you're planning to go out for a walk or you want you to go to the supermarket close to your house, but you say, mm -mm. no, look at the sky, it's going to rain. Let's better stay home, right? Or, oh no, it's nine o'clock and I'm not ready. I'm going to be late. ¿Por qué voy a usar I'm going to? Porque ya son las nueve, a las nueve ya tenía que o haber llegado o al menos estar cerca. Y apenas estoy en mi casa y me estoy cambiando, entonces I'm going to be late. De seguro, pues ya estoy tarde, ¿no? ya voy tarde. So it's nine o'clock now and not ready, meaning I'm late. Entonces cuando yo tengo evidencia, de sobre eso, ¿verdad? Yo puedo usar going to. Otro ejemplo, teacher. Sí, claro que sí. Por ejemplo, we have a student. Ninguno acá, por supuesto. No, no hay nada, ningún estudiante hacia acá. Pero let's say that we have a student. Y ese estudiante, he didn't deliver his homework assignments. No presentó tareas. This student had a lot of absenteeism, right? No venía, ¿verdad? Las clases. This student um, didn't pass the exams, right? No pasó las pruebas objetivas. Entonces, basada en toda esa evidencia como su maestra, ¿qué voy a decir? He will fail the course. He will fail the course. ¿Por qué uso will? Perdón. He is going to, oh my goodness, ya me crucé toda, ¿ok? He is going to fail the course. ¿Y por qué usa going to teacher? Porque basada en la evidencia, o sea, no presentó tareas, ¿verdad? No se presentó a clase. Y este, um, ¿cuál fue la última? Y dejó los exámenes, ¿verdad? De, 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 de las pruebas objetivas. Entonces, he will fail. Perdón, he's going to fail. ¿Verdad? Lamentablemente no va a pasar el curso. He is going to fail the course. ¿Ok? Por eso es que uso going to. Again, uso cuando something is going to happen. ¿Y por qué lo dices, teacher? Porque we can see now that is sure to happen. Porque veo la evidencia, ¿verdad? De lo que está a punto de pasar. Voy a terminar con este ejercicio, chicos. Si quiere, tome la captura. And um, luego lo revisamos. Y yo creo que con eso terminamos. Así que I'm going to give you some time for you to complete the exercise. ¿Verdad? Uh, it says complete the sentences. Use going to. Plus these verbs, tenemos do, eat, give, lie down, stay, walk, wash, um, wash, watch, and wear, okay? So let's go ahead and work on this one, please, and let me know when you finish. This is going to be the last exercise for today. Now guys, that verb, lie, uh, lie, lie down. Lie down is in español acostarse, tumbarse, tenderse, recostarse, reposar. Ese es lie down, ¿ok? Just in case if you didn't know the verb. Voy a repetir, lie down is acostarse, tumbarse, tenderse, recostarse, reposar, right? So, Teacher. Por supuesto, también significa lie es mentir. Dígame. The first one, maybe it means my hands, right? Yes, my hands, I'm sorry, yes. Ahorita Thank lo corregimos. You're welcome. My hands are dirty.
thank you very much, uh, Kenya. She says that she has already finished. What about what about the rest? Have you finished? Okay, guys. I know that probably, well, most of you probably haven't finished yet, but don't worry. We're going to check the answers tomorrow, okay, um, during the class. Uh, just a reminder, okay, so un recordatorio, chicos, don't forget that by this week, you need to complete section number five, okay, section number five, and also the final test. El final test, que recomiendo yo? Trate de hacerlo, revíselo, si hay algo que con lo que tiene preguntas, ¿verdad? Me avisa, porque igual el viernes, ¿verdad? Veríamos esa parte, ¿verdad? Del final test. O si ustedes quieren verlo antes, podemos también revisarlo antes, no hay problema, ¿verdad? Eh, igual si de repente necesitan material, bueno, worksheets, ¿verdad? Eh, extras, me avisan, ¿verdad? Y yo con mucho gusto pues les puedo apoyar con eso. Y mañana igual seguiríamos viendo eh, la parte siempre de going to, terminar esto de lo de going to y también tener unas oral activities, ¿verdad? Eh, la idea es saber, pues, utilizarlos. Como les había comentado, no necesariamente quiere decir que nosotros eh, lo estemos usando de forma incorrecta. Todo depende de, la, de cómo usted, eh, de cómo usted lo quiera utilizar, ¿verdad? De su, desde su perspectiva, ¿verdad? Mucho depende del contexto, ¿verdad? En el que se utilice will o going to. Pero conclusion, conclusión. I'm going to use will when it is just a possibility and I haven't made a decision. ¿Ok? Es una posibilidad y no he tomado una decisión. Pero voy a usar going to, going to, when I have already made my mind. I have already made a decision. Ya hice una decisión. Y también cuando yo quiero expresar que algo va a suceder, pero con la evidencia enfrente, ¿verdad? Esto va a suceder. ¿Por qué? Porque esto y eso está sucediendo. Esto, esto y eso está pasando. Y esa va a ser la conclusión. Ok. So, guys, I'm going to stop here. Thank you very much for joining. Um, we're going to check the, this activity, this exercise tomorrow during the class. So, I'm going to let you go. Thank you for joining and I'll see you tomorrow, okay? Good night and rest. Descansen, chicos, okay? Bye-bye. Bye, teacher. Thank you for your time. Oh, you're welcome. Thank you for joining today. Take care, guys, and I'll see you tomorrow. Good night, everyone. Good night. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.